Hello, and welcome to the pre-identification of students for alternate assessment training module. All students eligible for alternate assessments must be identified in the Washington Assessment Management System within EDS. This identification process is used for both the WA-AIM and the WIDA alternate access. Only district users with permissions to EDS and WAMS will be able to complete this function. To access WAMS, log into EDS. Once logged in, click My Applications, then select Washington Assessment Management System. Once in WAMS, click the Pre-ID tab at the top of the screen. Next, click Alternate Assessment Registration, located in the left panel. Next, ensure district, a grade level, and options for sorting are complete. Registration will need to occur by grade level. Once the required selections are complete, click View. After clicking View, a student list will appear. The list is populated based on enrolled students in that grade for the district with an active special education student program flag. Not all students in this list are eligible to take alternate assessments. The user will need to mark the radio button for each alternate assessment the student's IEP team has determined eligibility for. For students participating in the WA-AIM through the engagement rubric, the user will want to make sure the radio button under engagement rubric is marked. This process identifies students participating in alternate assessments and also removes the student's record in TIDE. If the record in TIDE needs to be maintained, check the preserve record in TIDE box. This will be important if the student will be participating in other tide dependent functions like interim assessments. If you find there are students missing from the student list, there are typically two primary reasons. First, the student is missing the special education flag in the student program file. The second most common reason is a mismatch between the district grade level and the enrolled grade level reported to CEDARS. Both of these issues will need to be corrected in the district's next CEDARS submission. Students identified for alternate assessment participation within WAMS are transferred via nightly uploads to our vendors who oversee our assessments. Any additions or changes made should appear in all related vendor platforms the next business day. If you have any questions regarding anything in this module or any other WA-AIM related questions, please email the OSPI WA-AIM inbox at wa.aim at k12.wa.us. Thank you.